Nestled between embassies and gleaming high-rises in the centre of Bangkok, a community on the other side of the wealth gap. In the shadow of a new apartment complex, Juanisa lives with her three children. Today's a rare day off with the kids. Usually her 15-year-old son has to care for his siblings while she works. She says her income barely covers the family's costs or repayments of loans she's been forced to take. I want to have a better life, but I can't. I just have to accept my fate because I was born in this condition and I have to take what is available. I just spend my life day to day trying to get enough to eat and live, that's all. It's a common complaint in this community. During the pandemic, many people lost jobs and incomes dropped. And now the cost of living is rising sharply. They're not getting any help. We barely get any help from the government. We don't get anything. We only get help from foundations and charities when we reach out to them. Thailand's often cited as a success story when it comes to reducing poverty. But the wealth here has not been evenly distributed. And in the Credit Suisse Global Wealth Report of 2018, Thailand was listed as one of the most unequal places in the world. In the years since then, life has been even harder for lower income communities. With global economic trends going in the same direction, economists are concerned Thailand will be badly hit. Thailand is a country that has wide inequality and wealth gap, and inflation would hit the most vulnerable harder. By the side of a busy expressway, some of the most vulnerable are struggling to survive. This is a community for the deaf and hard of hearing, often cast out by their families. Fon takes us under the bridge where she, her husband and several other families have made homes from refuse and scrap. She explains their disability allowance of $20 a month barely lasts a few days. The strain is enormous. They try to salvage what they can from the waste others throw away. And with the roar of the traffic overhead, life goes on, while their complaints go unanswered. Tony Cheng, Al Jazeera, Bangkok.